What's up guys, this is Steve Randall at night and I've just worked out and had a lasagna so I'm really hyper but that's got nothing to do with this video. Today I'm going to be looking at 10 different unique Android launchers which you can put onto your phone to change as a parent. There are a lot of launchers out there, I use Nova Launcher a lot, uh, Doodle Launcher, things like Apex Launcher but all of these launchers look very similar. This is going to be 10 different ones which gives your phone a slightly more unique feel so I hope you enjoy. Now the first launcher we're going to look at is called Widget Launcher. Now this is quite a cool one, it gives a sort of nice minimalist easy to theme kind of aesthetic and it just has big pages of widgets which you can hold down and then you can swipe up and down to change which sort of widget you want so you've got like battery widgets, um, storage ones, settings ones, media players, app lists, all that sort of thing and if you swipe sideways it will automatically scroll through different sort of themes for each of those little widgets so it's a very easy way to quickly and efficiently theme your home screen to look exactly how you want it and you can also make it so you've got a lot of information right there if you go to the bottom of the screen, you can see you've got three icons pinned to your dock and then you've also got an option to open up all your apps into your app drawer. Also, if you scroll left of the screen, you get the settings bar. The settings bar isn't the prettiest thing in the world. If you're looking for a home screen which relies on widgets and you want something that's very easy to theme very quickly, then Widget Launcher could be for you. Up next, we have Zen Launcher. This is one of the launchers that on the Play Store claims to be the smallest. I haven't actually checked all of them um, in exact detail, but it is a pretty small launcher. I think it's under like five megabytes or something, or maybe even under one megabyte. But the interesting thing is it gives you a search bar at the bottom of the screen where a dock would more normally be and then in the middle of the screen you get this little pane where you can put all your favourite application. It's got support for icon packs and if you scroll across on your left you'll get sort of a pane of widgets which you can scroll through vertically. If you scroll the other way you get to your applications. You get a section which will show you your most use. It will also show you the ones you most recently installed. Along the bottom there is also sort of a quick settings panel and if you scroll across again you get to all your applications. As you can see at the top here, you have an option to replace this with a widget or to use the weather clock that comes with the launcher. My god, I wish I could make Android look like Windows Phone is what you hear all the time. So if you want to make your Android phone look like Windows, you can download Windows Phone Launcher 8. There's a bunch of different ones on the Play Store which will achieve this kind of aesthetic, but this seems to be the most stable that I've used. You get a nice home screen where you can put all your different live panels. You can also add widgets to the home screen as well as settings and shortcuts, and you can mess around with them to change the colour and the size of the panels. Um, so you can customise it to your heart's content. And it's pretty much like standard Windows Phone. If you scroll across, you get to list of all your applications. And at the top, you can search quickly for any app that you want. It's got folder support and things like that and everything you'd expect in a launcher. But if you're looking for Windows Phone on your Android phone, this is about as good as it gets. Next up, we have Smart Launcher. This is one of the launchers which, again, claims to be very, very small, and it is pretty small, and it's very simple and quick to use. You get six icons in a ring on your home screen, so these are going to be your most used applications. You can then hit in the bottom left-hand corner to launch all of your other apps, automatically sorted into these sort of collections or folders. You've also got a search bar at the top and the time widget in the middle here. If you get the pro version of it, you also get the option in the bottom right hand corner and you can tap that and it will launch a panel of widgets, which is pretty useful. If you're looking for a very light, very quick launcher, this would be pretty good for someone who's like slightly visually impaired or just sort of big fingers and you want to be able to quickly get to your most used applications without any fuss. So that's Smart Launcher and Smart Launcher Pro. Next up we have Holo Launcher. This is one of the ones that looks a little bit more like what you expect to see on an Android phone in the sense that it works with just shortcuts and stuff on your home screen. However, it's got a kind of iOS flavor as well. It sorts all of your applications into folders. If you open up one of the folders, you can also scroll across left and right to scroll between the different folders on your home screen. So the idea is that you never need to go into all of your applications. But if you do want to do that, there is the option as well so you can see all of your applications sorted vertically. It's got everything you'd expect, like support for icon packs and widgets. Some of the widgets it comes with are really nice. The clock widget with the weather, for example, is animated. So there's all these little touches which are really nice. Um, you can mess around with all the different animations. And there's also a theme manager as well. I think what sets us apart is the way that it uses folders to try and make so you never need to go into your app drawer. So it feels a little bit more like iOS, but it's kind of like a slightly more evolved thing, the way you can scroll through the different folders. And overall, it's just a very quick, very light launcher. Next up we have Action Launcher 3, and this on the surface looks kind of like any other sort of Nova Launcher style launcher. There's a couple of cool things that were first implemented by the developer of Action Launcher, which other launchers have sort of taken on, but there's a few unique things as well. To start with, if you want to get to all your applications, you scroll left on your home screen and you get to this nice sort of vertical scrolling thing. At the top, you also get a smart bar, which is kind of like the normal Google search bar, but you can do a lot more things with it. There's different setups you can automatically choose, so like music or social or productivity, or you can choose to have it hidden. Scroll across, you can see you get normal widgets and stuff on your home screen. One of the coolest things the developer of Action Launcher implemented is covers. So this means I can tap, say, on my camera and it'll launch my camera. 
But if I scroll up on it, if I swipe up, it will launch as a folder. It's really nice, it means you can attach all your applications to sort of the most used app in that category. So you get both the functionality of the one click going straight to the app you need to use, and you can swipe up very quickly to get to that folder. It's also got a thing called Quick Theme, which will theme your applications list and your search bar based off of your wallpaper. It's a little bit uh, less accurate if you do it off a live wallpaper, but as you can still, as you can see, as you can see, it still works pretty well. Next up, we have Aviate Launcher. This was recently acquired. Acquired. This was recently acquired by Yahoo, so it's their sort of latest endeavor, and it cooks very nicely into a couple of other Yahoo apps that I use. For example, the news widgets. The cool thing about Aviate Launcher is it's kind of location and context aware. So depending on where you're traveling, whether you're at work or whether you're at home, the launcher will change, and you have different setups for all these different locations. You can scroll up from the bottom to see your most used contacts and if you scroll right you get to your applications. First of all they're sorted into some smart categories or folders and if you scroll again you get that vertical scrolling Windows sort of style list of applications. The other cool thing about this is it plugs into things that are nearby. So if you go to like a restaurant or something your launcher will change and acknowledge that you're in a restaurant and so it will pull up all the apps and things you'll need. If you're looking for a slightly more context aware launcher then AV8 could be for you. Next up we have a sort of another smart launcher, this is called everything.me. This has changed a lot over the last couple of months from the early releases of the app. It's now a very clean, very light looking um, launcher which is again context aware. As with a couple of these other launchers, it sorts all of your apps into folders and drops them onto your home screen. You also have an option at the bottom to go to all of your applications in sort of like a more standard kind of Android way. But the cool thing about this is that within the folders it does other stuff as well as just listing applications. So for example you go into your entertainment folder and it'll give you lists of um, stories and news articles and things pertaining to entertainment. And at the bottom it will suggest apps to you that it thinks are in this category. You can also turn that off so it's not like an advertising thing. Um, but it's actually kind of useful if you're looking for different applications within different categories. There's also something at the bottom called the smart bar. And this will adapt to what you're doing at what times of day depending on where you are. And this will suggest your most used applications for you. It also has an option in the middle which you can tap called My Day. Which gives you a kind of Google Now style vertically scrolling list of... Um, of information of things you're up to and things your phone thinks you need to know. You can also scroll left on the launcher to get to your most used contacts and also a link to your phone dialer. And at the top you have sort of an integrated search which will search your applications, your contacts and the web all at the same time. Next up we have Flow Home which is actually one of my favourites and it's also one of the simplest launchers out there at the moment. It starts with a nice sort of news feedy home screen, it looks a bit like sort of Blink feed or the thing that LG nicked off HTC or a Google Now kind of media feed and this plugs into all your different social media. Sorry about that, my memory card just got full. Um, I think I was just saying you can go and put Flow Home into left hand mode which will move all the shortcuts across to the other side of the screen. It's a really nice one, it's a very nice simple um, launcher, so that's Flow Home. And finally on this list we have Next Launcher 3D. This is kind of, for me, it almost feels like a slight sort of parody of the launchers we used to have. This is before it was Windows Phone, it was Windows Mobile. There were these launchers which would sort of like go to really go to town on 3D effects and transitions and icon packs and stuff like that and this kind of feels like that if you're looking for a launcher where you can really tweak everything and you can just keep doing stuff after stuff after stuff in kind of a very tactile 3d um, sort of showy kind of way then you're probably going to like this launcher it's by the same people who do go launcher it's kind of like go launcher on crack or steroids or whatever drug of choice you want to put into that launcher it's sort of very fully featured but for me it's a bit much but i know a lot of people enjoy it so i thought i'd add it to this list so yeah that's the next launcher I hope you enjoyed that guys, please comment below if there's any of the launchers you think I should be using. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Please also subscribe if you haven't seen them before, that really does help. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.